Welcome guys to the second segment of our in the field uh, black vulture effigy video. I'm here with Jason Phillips, I'm Adam Huber and, uh, and Jason. So um, we want to talk about our first video we kind of demonstrated how to construct the black vulture effigy. And Which today, is hanging right, right yeah, here. We got one hanging here beside us. And today we're going to kind of go over uh, where to hang one and uh, kind of how to obtain tags and, 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 and things of that nature. Just some detail. Yeah. So the black vulture um, here in Simpson County and Allen County and really throughout the state of Kentucky has become a problem for our livestock producers. And so um, an effigy or a scare decoy is uh, one way that we can deter these vultures. Uh, they, they're they fed, federally protected right. birds. Right. So, you know, we can't just go out there and shoot these birds right. uh, without permits. Right. And so we can harass the birds, meaning you can shoot fireworks, you can shoot uh, up into the air to scare them off. Right. But you can't actually, but you can't them. actually shoot them without a permit. Right. Uh, you can also use an effigy to scare these uh, black faced vultures off. And, and you can uh, also obtain a permit, which we'll talk a little bit more about right. uh, later in the video. Right. And normally the, uh, uh, so just to be clear, there's a, a turkey vulture and a black face vulture. So they're two totally different species. Exactly. And most of the time, the turkey vulture is not going to be one to actually kill a live animal. Mm -hmm. And whereas, the black face vulture will do that on some occasions. The black face vulture is the one that's problematic, right. and that's the one we need to worry about. The turkey vulture gets its name because its head is colored colored up just like a turkey. Right, it's got a red head. On. Um, and they're not a problem. You know, they they're scavengers right. exclusively, right. so they do not um, they do not kill any animals. Right. Whereas the black face vulture has been known to be predatory. Right. Meaning they will hang out and wait for a calf, for instance, to be born. And right. when it hits the ground, a group of them will come down and actually actually kill that calf. Right. And obviously that can be a problem for our livestock producers. And that's what we're trying to prevent. Right. And I think that's a key word, prevention. Um, this effigy should be hung prior to having any problems. So we're in spring calving season right now. Uh, hopefully our viewers haven't had any problems, but I would encourage you to build this effigy and put it out before the vultures taste blood. Right, right. Because once you have that problem, uh, you're going to have a real hard time Absolutely. running those vultures off once they've identified that place as somewhere to feed. Right. Yeah, once they get the taste of blood, they're going to hang around and they're just going to wait for more. Mm -hmm. And that's definitely a problem. So we need to, like you say, prevention is, is key here in, in our our solution to take care of these birds. Exactly. And another thing that I would encourage our livestock producers to do, so you can't just take this effigy out here and hang it up year round right. and expect it to be effective. Uh, uh, a vulture is smart. Vultures are smart birds. And uh, so just like any wild game, you know, if we hang this up very long, they're going to get used, used to it. To it. And uh, then it's going to be ineffective. It's going to be much less effective. So, you know, it's that's just another reason for us to, to have a, a shorter calving season, a more concise calving season. Um, you know, that's definitely going to help the effectiveness of these right. these decoys. Right. Or if you're hanging one that you've that you've taken with a permit. Uh, it, it, the same is going to hold true there. Right. And, and a lot of producers that have obtained the, the permits actually do that and are, it's very successful. I mean, it's the same purpose as the FG here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of people will ask, you know, how do I get the permits? Um, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, so this is the feds, not the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife, right. but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife has got permits. Uh, you can apply to them. But uh, that process can be long and drawn out. It takes a while to do that. Uh, where Kentucky Farm Bureau right. has, has done a lot of the legwork right. for our Kentucky producers. And uh, the Farm Bureau Federation has obtained several tags. Um, and so you can apply to them and get sub permits. Right. And that's going to be your quickest way. That's probably gonna... the easiest route. Um, 
to legally to go back in your take these animals. And it being a federal bird, I would not advise um, shooting any of these birds without a permit. Right, right. Because they are protected. It's a federally protected bird. Do not do it. But I think one permit is good for five. five. Yep. Yeah, five takes. Right. So, um, you know, it's it's a growing problem, and uh, it's something that we right certainly need to be mindful of. Right. And and also, you know, if you do, which we recommend, build this effigy, it can save you a whole lot of time dealing with, you know, the government and regulations as far as getting the permits. I mean, this takes what took us like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to build this. Didn't have to go through any of the, you know, paperwork and all that. Pretty inexpensive. So it's, you know, it, it serves the same purpose. So this, this is the, this is what I would do first and try this out. Um, but if it doesn't work, then go ahead and get your, your mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh One thing too, one, one thing that I would throw out is, um, if you have any deceased animals on your farm, you know, if you have a cow to die, dispose of it quickly and properly. Um, we don't want any reason to attract vultures to our right. farm, right. Um, you know, and, and that's certainly one way to do that. Right. Uh, so we don't want to add to the potential problem. Right. Um, so, you know, there's several steps that our producers can take in terms of prevention, um, and, and an inch of prevention can, can go a mile. Right. And you know, you know, just one good management practice too is you know just keeping an eye on your cattle and, and if you've got cattle that are about to have calves keep them up in a front lot closer to where you can take you know keep an eye on them and then things of that nature you know just, just take good management practices you know that that will that will help as well and of course hang the effigy in the area in which right. you're going to be calving right yeah i mean you don't want to hang it here and your cows are back in the you know right the back 40 you know you think well this was a good this was a good limb well that's still that's not going to right. not going to work for you right and, and we mentioned earlier about you know not leaving it up in one spot for very long and i would say what i would do is you know leave it in one spot for you know maybe a couple weeks and then move it somewhere else uh-huh you know not in the same vicinity but into a different tree right and, and if you don't have a tree to hang it from you can all you know you can put a pole in the ground a post anything you know just anywhere you can just you know get a rope to hang that thing be fine. yeah obviously this is this is going to replicate uh, a dead bird right. and like you say i mean they're smart and they're going to think associate that with danger right and so that's our whole whole objective here. right right so i think we've i mean i think we've covered you know pretty much everything um uh, we've covered the uh the, you know, how to get the tags the purpose of it you know where to where to uh, place the the vulture or the effigy whenever you mm -hmm. uh, get that so i think uh i think we've covered everything pretty well here jason um and you know if anybody does have any other questions uh, they can contact you know your local extension office uh, for any more questions thank you